I'm Tom Beaumont, a national political reporter for the Associated Press based in Iowa. I'm in the Cedar Rapids area today covering South Carolina Republican Senator Tim Scott, who has decided to form an exploratory committee to seek the 2024 presidential nomination. You know, one of the things I've learned and continue to learn on my Faith in America tour is what the people actually want what they're saying. They are starved for hope. They, they consistently respond positively to a message anchored in conservatism that is optimistic and positive. And so I will tell you that the, the more I travel, the more excited I am about where I, where I am in the race and why we started the exploratory committees because of the success of the Faith in America uh, time that we've had on the, on the campaign trail going around this country. In forming an exploratory committee, uh, Scott is able to raise and spend money in investigating running for president. It's a step that allows him to travel the country, to visit early nominating states like Iowa, where he is today, and uh, feel out um, Republican activists in those key states for their potential support. In announcing his exploratory committee, he is offering, as he has during these recent weeks, an uh, upbeat, uh, hopeful message uh, about unifying the country, which he claims is divided because of Democrats. However, uh, the Republican Party is also divided, and he presents a pretty marked difference in approach to uh, former President Donald Trump, who campaigns uh, typically with a laundry list of grievances against his, his political rivals. I think the truth is that when we have a chance to continue to delineate between where the radical left has taken this country, it feels like they have a blueprint on how to ruin America, contrasting that against an optimistic, positive message anchored in conservatism that suggests that there is a path forward where we as one nation much better off together.